Today we're gonna make a cheeseburger, a double cheeseburger. I always cook my burgers in cast iron or on a flat top. When I was a kid, my parents owned a diner and everything was cooked on probably a, you know, three foot flat top grill. All the eggs, the omelets, everything was on there and all the burgers were on there as well. So I mean, I kind of grew up with that style of burger and that flavor of burger. I just really enjoy that caramelized crisp crust from a flat top or cast iron. A good cheeseburger, it's not difficult to do, but it just takes a lot of thought. So if you think about how you assemble it, what you use, you know, you always season your meat. You don't have to get too crazy with it. I always grind my own meat, I cure it a little bit. It's got a little bit of bacon added into it. And that's kind of the elevated touches, I guess, I bring to it. But it's really, really simple, you know, anybody should be able to do it. If you don't want to grind your own meat, you could use store-bought meat. By all means, you know, and make sure you salt it. Always season it. So we're gonna roll these into two three ounce balls, put them on the cast iron to cook for a little bit, and then smash them down. Almost treat it like a piece of fish. Caramelize one side really hard, then flip it over. Just kind of kiss it for one second on the other side, put the cheese on, and then take them right out and start building the burger. I generally find that about six ounces of meat is enough. You know, I think it's all about how you build it and the uh, bun to meat ratio. I really like thin patties on burgers. I don't like a thick patty. It should just be kind of a really thin, kind of greasy piece of meat on a bun. It's still really juicy because it's cooked in a lot of fat. It's cooked really fast. You know, that's, that's to me, that's perfect. Oh, yeah.